get sorted. So Brian, T Brian Tracy once said, leadership is the ability to get extraordinary achievement from ordinary people. Uh, hello, welcome all. Good morning, afternoon, evening uh, from wherever you are joining or listening this recording. Today, my guest is not by any mean an ordinary people. Uh, he is one of my best buddies during college time and I've been really inspired by his journey, his achievements. Uh, joining me with today is Aditya Tomar in my Instagram inspiration series episode number four. Uh, welcome Aditya, how are you doing? Hi, Ritosh. Uh, good afternoon, good evening or good morning, wherever the part of the world everyone is here. So a uh, very good evening for my side to Ritosh. So I'm good. You tell me how's you doing? Yeah, pretty good and feeling good after talking to you now. <laughs> so Aditya and I have been uh, a college mate uh, when we were in engineering college. After that, we have since been connected. Uh, and recently, uh, we met physically after 13 years uh, when I was in India a few months back and it was a great time. And I feel like we have, we have lost about 13 years, uh, but it was fun to meet you back there. Uh, so Aditya, uh, how we are going to do is, uh, we'll, I'll probably ask a few questions and then you can answer these. No. And uh, meanwhile, if audience have any question, they can put it in the comment box and we'll see if we can take a few questions to the end of the session. It's going to be fun and uh, impromptu, so uh, nothing, nothing uh, behind the scene. <laughs> So, uh, okay. let me let me start with asking about, uh, I know you completed your engineering in 2007 and then joined a corporate, but uh, how has the journey, journey been since? Okay, so I think I have passed out my uh, engineering college at 2007, right? And uh, after that, I was placed in, um, in within the college itself, a uh, good company called Erison. So, uh, because of that, uh, you know, at that point of some kind of a recession is going on. So, I have joined my company in 2008 rather than 2007, right? Mm -hmm. And after that, once I have joined my uh, company, then um, it was that uh, once I was in college, so I was doing lots of things uh, in my businesses, different, different, I mean, that was like small, small businesses I was doing, right? So, start from the starting itself, uh, I was a... I never planned to be in uh, engineering or uh, something like a studious kind of a person. I was to, I have a, I had a dream like I have to play for India in cricket. I uh, used yeah. to play from uh, different, different, uh, I would say, uh, I mean, clubs that uh, I'm having. So I was mm -hmm. in uh, Indra Gandhi Stadium. But somehow the situation was different. So then I went to the studies, then I went to the colleges. And after that, once I get into my corporate life at that point of time i was thinking uh i was just a trainee right and uh, the kind of uh, at that point of time the kind of a salary we got it's it was good it was good and i was thinking how this business runs how this uh, things runs so right. uh, i mean i was understanding the, how it can be started how the business can be started so at that point of time uh, i mean to get out from the I mean, to out from the you know uh, corporate life, it take me around four years to understand the things, to understand each. I mean, we, right. uh, I have few friends uh, like uh, uh, Ashish was there, Arun was there, and uh, uh, lots of friends were there. Everybody has planned to start their own startup, right? At that point mm -hmm. of time, at uh, at that point of time, me, Ashish, and uh, the partner that is I'm having right now is Pranjal. So we have three. Uh, collaborated and uh, uh, I mean came to on the same page to start that kind of a thing and after that yeah. uh, in 2011 the journey has been started wow that's an amazing journey so uh, just to list down I think some of you already know in the fire but no, he is a business growth expert uh, he's been co-founder of two of the organization uh, VK Rawl and QT Hub uh, he also had a few franchisee, uh, amazing journey and so proud of you, uh, so proud of your achievements. Uh, so, uh, tell us about our audience. Uh, 
what were some of the failures i mean everybody talks about success but let's talk about some of the failures what were some of the failures that you encountered and then how did you overcome that and and your learnings out of those say uh, the failures that uh, i did is uh, the decisions that i've made right i am i am that kind Uh, kind of a you know, if I take an action, then I try to make that action right, right. Mm-hmm. So in in my in my journey, lots of uh, times uh, it has happened, right. To be honest, that whatever the things I have started, right, it's not. Uh, I mean, it was not as per the expectation that I am going. Go, uh, I mean, I was right. expecting that it should work like this. But if I say right now, uh, after you know spending. both the things uh, whether it's a job or whether it's a business it's been around uh, 14 years right uh, uh, doing the work so right the thing that i've learned after so many uh, i would say failures uh, as well and the success as well that right. the person concentrate only one thing right only one the power of one then he get the better results then uh, simultaneously learning many things parallelly mm-hmm. yeah so the power of focus focus on one thing then power to be scattered right yeah. uh, i remember when we were talking you uh, talked a very uh, interesting story about when uh, you uh, were trying to recruit people and then you found out that there were no proper training and then you started your own uh, consulting firm so you want to talk about that yeah um uh, actually uh, once i started my it company at that point of time it was really hard to train the people according to the requirement that we are having right uh, good people the experienced people would like would not like to join the startup as uh, right. early as possible right because uh, if the startup has in having a good funding definitely the people like to join that company because everybody uh, think about the security point of view and that's true also i'm not denying that part right but when when you are work, when you would like to work with the freshers and uh, you know the startup that you are having it's small and you have to train the fresh up so at that point of time you face lots of lots of challenges because once you start uh, i mean training the people or once they get trained after 6 month or after 9 month they uh, either they uh, walk out from the company or they take the better opportunity because the it company is like that the culture is like that uh, if uh, suppose uh, the people uh, who are you know uh, taking your uh, company in and if they have a right mindset definitely they will uh, uh, work with you for the longer period so uh, keeping that challenges of the startup we have start we have started a company called tuti hub right tuti hub solution private limited and uh, that has been started in 2016 uh, uh, 2016 or 17 i suppose right so that work on the same principle we are take the students uh, from the colleges we train them we assess them and then we place them in a different so the pain of the startup where uh, the people are uh, you know uh, people are not that much you know uh, trained and ready for the start uh, for the smaller companies i'm not talking about big companies for the smaller companies which is they don't have the mm-hmm. benefit to train the people within in house so with uh, which uh the my company do that my company work on that principle so very uh, nice very nice that that tuti hub really ha- help us a lot to get a better candidate for the future very nice uh, i also noticed that uh, lately you have been on the social media and and uh, uh, finding your online business so um, talk about that <laughs> this is something which is hot now <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Actually, uh, let me tell you. Uh, whatever I have, the thing started. Whether it's a software company, whether franchises, whether it's a tooty hub, all the things which I have started. The one factor that I stick to it is that I know how to generate leads, how to generate business, how to generate traffic. That's the expertise I am having. i know i never you know like to do all the things like i know i never like to do uh, i mean coding and uh, coding all those things right 
So I always focus how I get the better traffic for the different organizations which I am running right now. Right? It's very important. Mm -hmm. If I get the traffic, then I can grow them uh, the way I want. So. Uh, from the last uh, 2011 to uh, 2020, right? The, old, uh, the the I mean, I have managed my organization because of I know how I can bring the business for my different organization that I'm running. So that's a skill that I had, right? And I'm having also, right? So because of that skill, I uh, tried because earlier uh, there was like uh, I was doing that kind of a stuff for uh, either VK all or either Tuti Hub. Right now, uh, there's a different entity that we have uh, bringing that is AdityToma.in, which totally focus on three things: is the business designing, business uh, development, and business growth. And where the growth comes is once you get the quality traffic from the online space around the world and uh, present yourself, whether it's a service, whether it's a product in a better way to give the value of the solution that, that the people are looking for. So that's why the Aditya Thoma nice. is focusing on these three principles. Wow, I'm, I'm amazed actually. So what I listen between the line is that you now, uh, as a leader, you don't have to do all the things and the power of delegation is very important. Correct. And at the same time, you should find your niche what is that you do well and, and focus more on that and then get experts to do other things and then your business can really achieve greater success. Very nice. Correct, correct. So, correct. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, as they say, COVID-19, Corona. So how has life changed after COVID-19 arrived in India with grand welcome and uh, how are you dealing with it? How are you maintaining positivity among this? Disastrous time to say. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, to be honest, uh, being an IT company, right, for us, it was a challenge because being a startup also, that lots of infrastructure cost occurs when you work, you know, uh, like, uh, when you go to the office, lot, lot, th lot of things occurs, right? But after COVID-19, it's uh, mandatory for us to work from home. And that kind of a culture mm. uh, we like to bring in within the company or with the organization that we are having, right? Because it saves lots of time uh, for all the people that are working with us. Uh, the, I mean, like if I am I am traveling to my office, right? It takes me around three hours. Uh, I'm, I'm cutting that uh, time and I'm uh, investing that time either with my family, either uh, on my personal health or either uh, I'm planning something. So. So that kind of a traveling time, you have, if you can uh, manage the good things from working from home, especially if that uh, that kind of a work can be done from home. So that kind of a environment we have, uh, you know, we gone through now. Earlier, uh, I used to say to my team, let's work from home. It's really cool. You have lots of time for yourself, for your uh, personal growth, for, for your family and all. But at that point of time, people don't like to listen that much because they have the habit that uh, they in the morning they have to uh, ready for the office, they have to left for the office and whatever the things they do, right? So now, uh, because of this forceful uh, kind of, uh, I mean, this is good uh, because the solution is uh, social distancing and all. So it's good to have, right? So now they are feeling uh, they are getting more time. In fact, uh, there's more uh, laser focus what they are doing from the different softwares, but uh, at the end, it's a positive note that uh, we have uh, tried to uh, enjoying more time with the family and the work as well. Yeah, I, I believe work from home is going to be the work from home is going to be the new norm and you'll be people, yes. organizations will also be able to take th these things seriously. So good. Uh, before I go on to next, probably one or two more questions because uh, we don't want to uh, take too much time. Uh, if anyone in the audience have any questions, please type in, in the chat window and I'll pose it to Aditya. Now, uh, you talked about Corona and all. Uh, one of the things that I try to do in this uh, session is to uh, for the guests to provide some uh, uh, tips uh, for the young professional, for the, for the next generation. So if you have to give uh, two or three tips uh, that would be really helpful for them, what would those be? The first tip that I would uh, like to give, if you have some dream, right, then don't plan so much. 
just try to take the action as early as you can because once you started your uh, journey towards your dream whatever the mistakes you will do at the early stage right that can be taken care but you can't do the mistakes at the later stage once you have the more responsibilities so yeah. that's the first uh, first uh, i mean suggestion or tips i would like to give and the other thing is no matter what uh, what uh, the other people think just do what you like to do or whatever uh, you think you can do the best in that right whether uh, because let me let me give you one uh, very you know from the heart i never like to do coding because yeah. being a being a uh, it company or just being a electronic and telecommunication uh, degree i am having so once i land up land up into ericent that's a altogether different journey but i never uh, the person who like to code the things i can be the best uh, that i can design the things well i can plan the things well i can execute the things well right yeah. so just just uh, bring out one thing from you which you think you can be the best in and just work on that part that definitely that will give you uh, happiness that will give you the satisfaction and that will give you the growth as well very nice very nice so what i learned was that no i, I am a fan of a term called figure it outing <laughs> which means that you first say yes to opportunity and then figure out how to do that uh, but okay. don't say no to opportunity if you really like something and then you yeah, find your niche uh, find out what you are good at uh, and yeah a lot of a lot of people have uh, this wrong notion of thinking they are either good or bad at everything uh, that's not possible <laughs> so you have to be real in assessing your situation find out what you are good at and then probably focus more on that uh, correct si- since i don't see any questions in comment box so i think uh, we don't ha- have any questions as of now but i think it, it was a pleasure to have you aditya and uh, uh you want to give your contact information or anything for audience if anybody wants to contact you uh, please provide anybody wants any kind of a help in terms of if they are designing any kind of a business right they want how to start their business journey then they can connect me at any point of time at the rate uh, connect at the rate aditya.toma.in we help you to build your business to design your business and to help you to grow the business with the correct conversions from the market very nice so now we know who to reach out to maybe i'll reach out to you <laughs> 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 it, it was a pleasure and an honor to have you aditya yeah. in this and i'm pretty sure those who joined us or those who will watch this episode episode later uh, will certainly learn something and um, i wish you all the best for your future uh, we'll continue to be in touch uh, and uh, before i conclude this episode as i every time say that no uh, in this uh, pandemic situation let's help each other out let's uh, spread positivity let's and when i say help it's not only about money there are other ways also to help uh, pos- uh, sending positivity uh, talking to somebody for 5 minutes actually help them in their mental uh, mindset and growth and also if you have time please spare some food for animals along with humans uh, they are also very much affected by uh, this uh, corona epidemic uh, so until next time uh, i i'll probably like to conclude by saying keep learning keep growing and keep going out of your comfort zone this is harito signing off with instagram inspiration episode 4 thank you and see you all in the next one Thank you, Ritosh. Bye-bye.